So it's been a few days, and obviously I was like, okay, what's I going to do this today? What's I going to do this the other day? But you know what? It just happened. It just happened like that. It just happened. Um, and that's just the way the cookie crumples. Um, so week six of the NFL, let, let's just talk about the big stories first. Uh, Zach Brown got cut by the Eagles. He was talking a lot of stuff, and then he gets cut. You know, by the Eagles after losing to the Vikings. It wasn't even close that game anyway. Um, um, the other big thing was Jalen Ramsey. Um, I know it's something about Marcus Peters too, um, getting traded and stuff like that, but Jalen Ramsey is now a L.A. Ram. He is now part of the L.A. Rams. Is it going to be – it's going to be interesting to say the least um, – you know, um, I think now we can just sit back and relax and just laugh at the Jags for messing this up so stupidly like this, you know. They had a generational tight corner. Jalen Ramsey, now he's gone. So anyway, let's just take a look at some of these games. First of all, the Dolphins, Redskins, let's not even, let's not even just try and say that was a good game. It was not, um. Honestly, <coughs> honestly, the Dolphins should have tied the game up. They should have went to overtime. And what they, they, Kenny and Drake just dropped the ball at the two yard line for a two point conversion. Who goes for two when you need to tie the game? That's stupid. Um, Patriots, they're still undefeated. You know, they keep winning. The Giants really didn't pose much of a threat, you know, really wasn't that close. Uh, Panthers beat the Buccaneers in London, you know. What can I say? I think the Jameis Winston era is over. Um, if they if the Bucks don't get rid of him next year, then I mean, it, if he's not gone at the end of the season, you know, I'd, I'd be surprised, you know. Um, it's just not working out down there in Tampa Bay. Saints keep on rolling. They Remember they remember when they lost Drew Brees? Well, it hasn't really affected them all that much. Defense has been strong, and they hold the Jags to only six points. Uh, Ravens, they beat the Bengals, but, I mean, it's the Bengals. Who cares? Um, the inconsistent Browns return, and they lose once again to the Seahawks. Um, there was some rep ball, obviously. Uh, so, you know. It is what it is. There was also this rep ball in the Monday night game. Um, I'll just talk about it right now. Um, Trey Flowers grabs a guy by the neck. Not even – did you see it? Did you see my hand? He's grabbing the neck, grabbing the neck, you know, area, grabbing the neck, shoulder area, was grabbing on the face like this, grabbing on the shoulder. Uh, but the Lions still lost the lead anyway. It doesn't really matter. The game's over, and the Packers win. Discount double bullshit magic by Aaron Rodgers once again to save the Packers' asses. Um, I already talked about the Eagles, Vikings, Texans beat the Chiefs, you know. Remember when the Chiefs were undefeated? I don't because they've lost a couple straight. Um, Here's another comedy of errors right here. Um, Really, you know, really it shouldn't even have been this close, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, so, Matt Bright misses a field goal, misses an extra point, excuse me, at the very end of the game against the Cardinals. That's why the Falcons lose 34-33. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, 49ers defense is unreal, you know. You know, it, it's unreal. It's crazy. They just stopped the Rams being uh, hard. It was really hard, you know. I was like, huh, is it really 20-7? to That's really the final? And, yeah, it was. Jared Goff did not look like, you know, like that Jared Goff from last year before the Super Bowl. I think the Rams are regressing a little bit. But, again, they have Jalen Ramsey now, so I think they can rest a little bit easier. Why do you think? It still needs some stuff on offense, though, I think, you know. Like, maybe a little bit of offensive line help will do you in. Mm. So who would have thought the Broncos would 
be winning, you know, the last two games. They, and I mean, Marcus Mariota, it looks like the Marcus Mariota era is also done for, you know, I thought, I thought this would be the year, you know, hey, um, is Marcus Mariota going to do something? Because he really hasn't. So that, that, that high has worn off um, for Tennessee. And I think they're, they benched Mariota for somebody else. I want to say it was Ryan Tannehill. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. It's the Titans. The Titans are not not they're they're kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Um, we'll skip over um, the obvious result uh, to just talk about the Steelers Chargers real quick. And that is well, Chargers is still kind of inconsistent, you know. Um, they just basically get blown out by the Steelers. Sands, you know, a couple of garbage time touchdowns at the very end. How do you get how do you get blown out by Delvin Hodges, huh? How do you do that? How? Doesn't make any sense to me. And finally, you know, let's just get the cat out of the bag. Oh my goodness gracious delight. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. The Dallas Cowboys lose. New York Jets. We exited this game with a lot of injury. We made some dumb decisions on offense. What were we thinking going forward on like a fourth down and one when we should have taken the points? What were we thinking? There was a third down and like there was a third down like 11 and we just do a toss. <laughs> toss to Zeke. And you know Darnold came back and he was slinging the rock. He made one mistake in the game, which was that, you know, uh, bad interception. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the Jets had their first win of the season. So what in the world do the boys do now? Well, I really don't know. Um, I want to say fire Jason Garrett. And I think that's probably that probably needs to happen. But, you know, I, I just don't know. I just don't know what Jerry Jones' mind is at right now. I don't know where he is right now. He had a lot of injuries. You know, Amari Cooper was out. And Tyron Smith and Leo Collins out. You know, we, you know, we had a lot of guys out on, on the offense. You know, we had some guys out on defense, too. But that doesn't excuse it. That does not excuse it. You know, we're tied for the division lead right now with the Eagles who I've also been talking a lot of stuff, um, who would have thought, who would have thought that, you know, hey, the Giants are still in this? Shoot, even the Redskins, even though they're terrible, you know, they, ha they have a W in, in their column. They have a W in the win column now. They're, they're still in this. There's a long way to go. We still got over half a season to go. And time will tell. Time will tell where the NFL season goes, but I think the most important thing is we have to address all this damn ref ball. There's all there's all sorts of questionable ref calls that have been building up over the season. Um, phantom pass interference calls, phantom hands to the face, roughing the quarterback calls. Um, holding's always been an issue, you know. I, I you know, Most people think that there's holding on pretty much every play and the refs just pick and choose, you know, when to call it. But these phantom pass interferences at times, you know, like plays that should have been called pass interference aren't plays that really don't qualify for pass interference get called anyway. I think these issues need to be addressed quickly, efficiently, and in a timely manner by the NFL. It needs to happen. It needs to happen fast. So, yeah. Um, week 7 starts tonight, so, you know, let's... Go on ahead and preview that in the very next video. That being said, everybody, peace. See y'all in a few.